Hi, my peepers. Welcome to a new episode of What's New in Shalene's Neck of the Woods. Today, we're talking about cross-stitching. Yes, I took a very long time taking a break from my cross-stitching. I had lost my mojo. My eyes weren't cooperating. I was supposed to be making a bookmark for Jen from Reading with Pugs. And I just got so frustrated with myself because... I was trying and trying so hard to stitch up that bookmark and my eyes were just not cooperating. So I think what happened is I had a little bit of allergies in the spring and that triggers my eyes to kind of be funky and not cooperate. So after cross stitching a full week and that's all I did all week long, I didn't have any more issues with my eyes. So, I'm glad to say I'm back to stitching. Hopefully I can still finish the bookmark. If Jen still wants it, I will send it to her. Um, I still have to get some floss. I, I didn't have all the colors. So that was another reason I hadn't worked on it. Because I went to Walmart. Walmart has dwindled down. They don't carry all the colors. I don't understand why. They think us cross-stitchers don't need every color. But I'll have to end up going to Michael's or Joanne's. Anyways, let's get started. I am not going to be cross-stitching in this video. I am going to show you everything that I got while in Myrtle Beach at the cross-stitch retreat. It was the Pals Retreat. Amy from Down Sunshine Lane puts it on. We have an awesome time. It was the 20th year. I've gone to 15 of the 20. Um, I didn't know about it the first year, so I missed the first year. I didn't get to go the year Justin graduated because we had... Um, money put us we had to save money for his graduation party and I was buying him a laptop as his gift I didn't go the year he got braces I think he was 12 or 13 he got braces put on those are expensive our insurance didn't cover that my parents did give me some money towards the braces but I had to pay for them that year and then the year um, Dylan graduated I had to pay for his graduation party and um, help him with moving to Pennsylvania because he went to school down there for um, about two years. So um, I didn't get to go that year. And then I didn't get to go last year because I had lost my job last summer and I couldn't save up the money to go. And Amber had started a new job and neither one of them could take the time off. So... Um, I, yeah, I missed five of them, but I have enjoyed every single one. A couple times I've gone down sick with sinus infections. One time I went down with a bummed up leg and ended up in the emergency room when I got there, and I wasn't allowed to walk. I had to keep my leg elevated, and I wasn't allowed to walk the beach or go shopping, but that's okay. I still had a great time. So on to this year. Every year we do a grab bag exchange. It's Everything's optional. You don't have to do any of the exchanges. I always do the grab bag exchange. Um, you want to find the best container to, to put everything in it. Amy will give you a... Well, it used to be you filled it with a minimum of $20 worth of cross-stitch items. Except for charts. No charts. Um... The past couple years, Amy has gave a list like one thing is something shiny, um, something soft, a container, your favorite stitching accessory, um, something froggy. So um, we had 12 items, and you can put in more than that, but um, you don't have to. So um, that was the only exchange I did that's done on Friday night. And that takes a couple hours because we all try to steal from each other. You don't know what's in the containers. You're only allowed to hold on to it. And then when your name's drawn, you can go up to the table or steal from someone. If you steal from someone, that second person can go and steal from someone else or go to the table. If you steal from someone else, that third person has to take a grab bag from the table. Um... There were two I wanted. Both of them were the same, just different colors. I ended up getting my second choice. I'll show that in a minute. But um, 
Amy puts on a great retreat. And um, like I said, her website is down Sunshine Lane. I, I order everything I possibly can through Amy. She has fast service. She's great. And I forgot to put this on my magnet board. This says Stitching at the Beach. And this year's theme was a castle, a sand castle. So, and this says 2017. I don't know if you can really see that. It says cross stitch pails. And then these were made um, out of sand from Florida. These two women make these out of real sand so I'm thinking they're really delicate so I have to be really careful look at the glitter whoops isn't they gorgeous I love it so that'll get hung up in my little stitching room and that came in a little bag with her business card and then a little note says cross stitch pails stitching at the beach 2017 20 years of stitching and friendship thanks for attending Amy and Ray Ray is her husband and he does a lot of the work too it's not just Amy there's that and then in Amy's um, she you can shop if you're a friend of hers, you can shop at her house. And her, her, she has a huge room that has all of her online stuff. And you can shop in there. And she also brings things to the beach to sell. She has a table set up. So I had bought this project bag. Look at that. She said she thought of me with the cats and the books. And look, at it's got a glittery bottom. So it was this or witch's hats. And you know what? I have so many Halloween project bags that I really wanted this. And I think I will use this for my tablet. So I can keep a pad of paper and a pen in my tablet in here with the charger. So I got that. And when we all got... Saturday night we were all were given the sand castle that I showed you. And we were all given this catalog which I will never work out of because it's Hardainer. I don't do Hardainer. <clears throat> but I've seen Hardainer. My friend Lori does it and she does gorgeous work. And Char does some of it but I don't do Hardainer. And then I have this little journal. It says Stitching at the Beach, Cross Stitch Pals. It has a pen. stitching at the beach so this might even go in with my in here so have that and then everybody brings whatever charts or magazines they don't want anymore and it's called a freebie table and you just pile everything on this lawn table and you take whatever you want so I found this penguin chart because I was teaching Amber how to cross stitch and she likes penguins so I saw I thought well maybe when she has time again once Blake is a little bit older she can sit and cross stitch and then this was on the freebie table cross my heart white tiger Justin loves white tigers yeah there's the back so I grabbed this and might stitch that up for him sometime and then Myra kept telling me about this bat cat that she saw on the table the day before. She said she didn't know if I would like the purple or the green. There were two of them. So when we went down the next morning, two, there was a woman there holding them up. So there's this one. And here's the green one. And Myra said, well, I didn't know which one you like. And I said, well, I don't know. I really, really like them both. And the lady said, well, then you need to take both of them. So I said, okay, don't twist my arm. So I took that. And then Myra, see, when I first got there, I said, I am not taking any free charts. I don't want any. K 
keep me away from the free table. So before I had gone down and looked at these, the night before, I shared, I shared a room all week with Myra. And Myra says, I got you two charts. You're to keep them. She says, I know you didn't want anything from the freebie table, but I knew you would like these. So, of course, she got me these Christmas cats. They're Mystic Stitch. Love it. Love it. They're so cute with the Santa hats. And then she saw this one, and this is a Heaven and Earth Designs, and she thought of me too. Isn't that beautiful? Now, if you are not a stitcher, you will not understand, but Heaven and Earth Designs, this whole thing is stitched. This takes months. There's a lot of confetti stitching, which means you're constantly changing thread colors. There's constant changes. Then when I was looking on the freebie table, I came across two books that I've been wanting. I don't care if I never stitch out of them. They are a collection that I've been wanting. And the one is the best of Teresa Wensler fantasy collection. I did have this single chart. I did cross stitch this. It's hanging in Justin's bedroom because Justin loves dragons. And he had picked it out one year and I did it for his birthday. So this has a whole bunch of charts in there. They're gorgeous. And then we kept looking. I mean, there's piles. You're, kind, you're digging, you're digging, you're digging. And then there was the Best of Teresa Wensler Christmas Collection. And this is the back of that. And these are all the charts that are in this book. Yep. So for someone not wanting any more charts from the freebie table... I did find some and I did break down and one of the women had twisted my arm. Yep, that's what happens at the retreats. I did buy some things. Now I gotta find it. Hmm. Oh, Praiseworthy Stitches had a table set up. Now I gotta see, make sure. Praiseworthy Stitches had a table set up, and they have a bunch of Halloween house haunted house patterns. I already have some, and I couldn't remember which ones I already have, and I haven't even started them yet, so I didn't. I passed them. She did have a freebie chart that says Sassy Bat. I probably should stitch this up and send it to Miss Ann from A Colorful Life. Anyways, not that I don't have enough, but you know me in Halloween, I had to get the scissor fobs. It's got the cute pumpkin and there's a cat. Now, I can't even tell you how many Halloween scissor fobs I already own, but I ended up having four pair on the pair of scissors I was using. <laughs> so, yeah, those I bought from Praiseworthy, Praiseworthy Stitches. Now there were other companies there, but I didn't I didn't buy anything from them. But this company is from Italy. They they had heavy accents and I fell in love with their charts. I just have to buy the fabric. So it's called Rovaris. Rovaris. They're from Italy. And this is a cute little thing to hang. And it comes with the hardware and the charms and the little rickrack to do the finishing. So I just have to, I know I have fabric. And I had to get this because I love the spiders and the spider webs. It says, welcome to our web. And again, the cats and the spider webs. And uh, I will put the link down below so you can check out their website. Loved, loved, loved this one. Yep, 
And this is a heart that says Halloween. Has witches' boots, bats, spiders, pumpkins. Love it. And that came with the spider charm. So, yep. In fact, they all came with the charms. They all came with the charms. This one. So, yep. And these, I forget how much these were. They were like $14, $16, something like that, a piece. So those are all the charts that I received, that I bought and got free. And my friend Lisa, she likes to make things for her close friends. And I wasn't there last year, but she had made this for me last year, a little pin cushion. And come the top comes off and it was full of floss. So she said she was too lazy to mail it to me, so she saved it when she saw me this year. This year she made for every person there at the retreat this cute little cupcake pin cushion. And she made the pins herself. They adorable. I love Lisa. Lisa is such a laugh. She will make you laugh. She's got a contagious laugh. Not only that, she made for our group. I don't think she made it for everybody. She only made it for our group. She made these name tag holders. They open up, made out of plastic canvas, and already had these in there, and then we just had to write our name on them. So that was at the table. And then Amy from down Sunshine Land, Sunshine Lane, she had these cute little trick-or-treat bags. They were $10. You could buy as many as you want. And they had candy in here, but I ate that. And it had beeswax. It's for um, rubbing your floss on so it doesn't tangle. It, had a, it has a cross-stitch thing, but it's a postcard and some floss um, gentle arts it's pretty and this one is Moe's sale this is called Johnny Cash I'd never heard of this floss before and then this one's Moe's sale called Orange Aid very pretty so those were in this little bag, and then you got a ticket in the bag um, for a giveaway, but I didn't win. And so, the grab bag night, well, before Friday night, they have things Wednesday night and Thursday night, I believe. There's a, um, a Halloween exchange, cross-stitch exchange. There's a fall cross-stitch exchange. Um... There's a finished piece exchange. There's a Christmas non-ornament exchange. I didn't do any of them. And then Saturday night is the cross-stitched ornament exchange. I didn't do that either. I just did the grab bag. Anyways, this is my grab bag I won. It's got a crown on the front. It's got these little pockets. This one's buttoned. It's got one on each end of the basket. There's one in the front again, little pockets. And inside, I will show you what I got. Inside is compartments also. So I thought I might use this for my coloring bag. And inside of this, you don't see what's inside. Everything was wrapped up. But there's a magnet board, which I love these. Um, another mesh bag, project bag. The other basket that I wanted first, that was done with black and white. There was just something about that I liked. Um, fuzzy socks, which I absolutely love. I wear these all the time in the fall and winter. Um, a pair of scissors. These are gorgeous scissors. Let me take them out of the package. They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at these embroidery scissors. Aren't they gorgeous? Gorgeous! Love them. Yep, love them. 
Not that I don't have enough pair of scissors. I probably have 20 pair. <laughs> um, Post-it notes, because that was for something colorful, and I love post-it notes. Um, something sweet. This is strawberry banana jam. Little thing, jar of that. These I absolutely love. They're called Starry Lights 10 Purple LED. I don't know why I haven't hung them up yet. But they're bats. It's battery operated. They're a string of lights of bats. So once they're untangled that I gotta find a place to hang those. And she included batteries for me. I absolutely love this. You know how I am about Halloween. Let's see. Then I have a tin. And inside of that is floss. And this was beach themed. So the colors are sand castle, seaweed, sea foam, and sand. So there's that tin. And then I got a counter. This came from an Etsy store. Anyways, what? It's a cat. That's a stitching count. So I have that. I very seldom use them, but once in a while I like to have them, and I have a few of them. And then I have Lady Dot Creates Snow, three yards of this. It's like a chenille thread. And a pack of needles, pacemaker size 24. Because us cross stitchers can never have enough needles. And. Another thing of beeswax. This one is a pine tree and it says I'm pining for you. And then there's another cute tin. It says goodies. And in this tin is the purples and blue thread. Because we had to send something purples and blues. And this camera does not show that those purples. Those are very vibrant purples. And so who, the person that put this together, we always put our name and our email address on a piece of paper so we know who to thank. And it was someone I didn't know, so she did come around. Oh, and forgot to show you, in the pockets, do you see this? Wait a minute, I should show you this. There's loops, so I could put like pencils and stuff in there. I love the basket. I first saw the black and white one. And I really, really wanted it. So that is everything that I got. Now I will show you. Hold on a minute. Let me get this stuff back in here. And I will show you what I cross-stitched on. I only took one project. I used to take several projects and my whole trap, it's not a trap keeper, what's it called? It's for, ma the ma it's a jam, it's called a jammer box for Matchbox cars. It's two-sided. And I used to take several projects and I took a bunch of small ones and always had a bunch of finishes. Well, this year I said, I'm taking my fairy grandmother godmother hold on fairy grandmother by lavender and lace so 
I will show you what she will look like when she's done. It will look like this when it's done. I started this many years ago. And this is how much of it I have done. Now while in Myrtle Beach, I did all of this area. The wings, some of this guy, and then some of this area here. So I did a lot. And this is what I'm going to continue working on the rest of this year. Um, I got my stitching bug back. So I plan on stitching again on Sundays. Sundays is TV day. Scott always works. And if I, if I get together on a Saturday with my mom and my friend Kathy, if we color on a Sunday, then I'll color then I'll I'll um cross stitch on Saturday so but yep I gotta get back into my stitching I enjoyed it I missed it and like I said my eyes cooperated the whole time and we stitched from 9 30 in the morning till 10 30 at night except for you know lunch break a small lunch break and a dinner break but otherwise that's all I did was stitch and I really, really enjoyed it again, and it got me back in the mood. I just didn't this week because I was getting caught up on house things and, you know, trying to get caught up on coloring. But, and I do have my color lawn going on for the whole month. So, um, that, that's been keeping me busy, but thrilled, thrilled. So, if Jen still wants her bookmark, I will stitch that once this is done. Um, she won't get it for Christmas this year, but she will get it sometime. And, um, yeah, I just, if I have to take a break in the springtime, then I take a break in the springtime. But that helped me get back in, back in the stitching bug. But that is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the floss tube video. I hope to do them every weekend again. And um, I will talk to you all later. Thank you, everybody. Stay tuned for a new episode of What's New in Shaleen's Neck of the Woods. Bye-bye.